Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we put a lithium 12 volt system in the 80. So these are the main components. We've got the uh, kick-ass DC-DC charger with solar input, uh, a kick-ass 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter, and it's all been powered by a Renogy 100 amp hour lithium battery. Okay, so as Krem said, the heart of the system is the battery. So why are we going a lithium battery? For one simple reason, and that is weight. This weighs about 12 to 13 kilos and it has 100 amp hour. You can take this down to 20%. That is 80 amp hour available power. If you're going to have the comparison battery in an AGM, it would be a 160 amp hour AGM. You can only take it down 50%, 80 amp hours, and that would weigh about 35 kilos. So it's really quite simple. Why wouldn't you go lithium? Full discharge, 2,500 cycles, compared to AGM at 250 cycles. So you pay more for it, it lasts a lot longer, and it's a whole lot more useful. Now, the other benefit of this battery is it has max discharge of 100 amps. That means it can pull full capacity, 100 amps, in one hour. What we'll do is we'll keep a running tally so you'll see how much this costs if you want to copy this video. It's very simple. You'll see at the end, really achievable. All right, let's get into it. Following on from last episode where we built the rear platform, now we're just going to drop the battery in. We'll chuck the straps on it. We'll put the inverter in. And now it's time to think about where we're going to run the wires for the DC-DC and the battery itself. Cool. So we're putting the kick-ass DC-DC on the back of the fridge, just here. Cable's going to run around under the platform. We use this one because it comes with a basically a whole plug-and-play wiring set. Uh, so it should be fairly easy, touch wood. Once you've mounted your DC-DC charger from Kickass, you have this large connector here. And then you have this large connector here. So you run it all the way through your engine bay, under the carpet, together, like so. But in our case, the lead was way too long. But fortunately, they supply you with a handful of extra Anderson plug connectors so you can chop it and wire it to your desired length. Check out the Anderson plug terminals. The one on the right is very skinny and the two on the left are a thicker gauge. Now when you check out the wires, that makes sense. Pretty impressed with that detail. Okay, now that you've run the cable through, you've got to connect it to this big Anderson plug, which goes to this Anderson plug. Now we're going to wire the inverter to the battery. Now it does come with these two smaller cables. Uh, we just had to increase the distance a little bit longer, so we got longer cable and up the size to 4AWG opposed to the 6AWG it looks like they supply. Okay, here is the finished insole. We have the Kickass DC DC charger with the kick ass 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter powered all by a Renogy 100 amp hour smart lithium battery. Alright, guys, 
once you've run your wires through the vehicle and cut them to length. Plug in the cables, turn on your DC-DC charger. Select the desired input. In our case, it's going to be lithium. Press the buttons till the lithium lights up and you're good to go. The other really good thing about this Kickass DC-DC is it comes pre-wired with an MPPT solar charger. Simply take the inbuilt cable, plug in your solar panel and instant solar power. It's really that simple. All right, here we have our 12 volt control panel. This display here, you buy separate to the Renergy battery and you can see currently we're drawing 2.6 amps for the fridge and the lights. We have 13.5 volts. We're sitting at 98.6% state of charge and it's a 100 amp hour battery. This display here from Kickass is for the inverter. You can see it reads the battery percentage in volts at 13.4 volts. And this little one cycles up and down depending on what you're drawing or what you have plugged in. Over here, just a simple 12 volt switch panel that we use to control all things like the fridge, the lights, and various other things that we have plugged in. So this is the back of the truck all together. Uh, we've got a power board here which is wired to the inverter for appliances like coffee machines and that sort of stuff. Uh, the fridge is back in, wiring is tucked away behind that. So it all looks pretty good. And for a complete breakdown of all the prices and the parts we used, you can see the grand total at $2,016. Please note that this can be heavily reduced by using a smaller inverter or in fact no inverter at all. Now for all the AGM naysayers, you're right, AGM is cheaper, but to get a similar available amp hour, it really isn't that much. It works out at $570 for the similar spec Century batteries. That's it guys. Like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you on the next one.